Hello, this is Dr. Tyler Hamilton with Chiropractor Today talking about golfer's elbow or tennis elbow. So lots of when we talk about golfer's elbow, we're talking on the, the middle side here, tennis elbows more on the lateral side here. So a couple of keys to deal with these kind of pains or just think of it as tendonitis. One, we have to release the muscle. Two, we need to stretch the muscle out. And then three, we have to strengthen the muscle. So we can't just do one and hope that things get better. So the releasing side of it, I have this little um, lacrosse ball. You can use a baseball, a tennis ball. But what we want to do is release the muscles that are close to the elbow where it's painful on either side. So I can put this down on a table and I can lean into it this way and put a lot of pressure. So you'll know you're on the spot because it's gonna be very painful. Think of it as a really, really tight muscle. There's trigger points in there, so it's gonna be painful when you're doing it. So it's okay to do that. It's okay to release the muscle because that's a big part of getting the tennis elbow or golfer's elbow better in the first place. So I can do the same on this side. I'm pushing in nice and hard as well and just getting in a couple of those points. I move it around a half an inch either way, a quarter of an inch. I get on the spot, hold it, just breathe through it. So that is the releasing part, that's number one. So number two, we wanna stretch it out. So think of the muscles in the forearm on either side. We just, we wanna stretch it, right? So we can stretch it this way. We can scoop the elbow, stretch it this way. We wanna do the front and the back of the forearm. We have to do that. So I say you can even stretch it, say 10 seconds this way, hold it, keep breathing. 10 seconds this way, hold it, and just go back and forth, back and forth. Again, the muscle has to be stretched out. It's really, really tight. That's part of what gives you the pain, golfer's elbow, tennis elbow. The last one, we want to do some strengthening exercises. And depending on how severe the golfer's elbow or the tennis elbow is, then you just have to be careful with this. So we want to do exercises that they might be a little uncomfortable, but we don't want them to be super painful. If you're doing super painful exercises over and over, then your golfer's elbow or tennis elbow is never going to get better. So we can grab a little tube like so. And we're gonna do a few different movements. So you can have a band like this, attach it to the wall, attach it around a pole or in the gym. We're gonna do simple exercises. Say, with my thumb, I'm gonna turn it out this way, hold it for a little bit, come all the way back. Same thing, back and forth, back and forth. I can do others with my, my wrist like this. I'm gonna bring it back, hold it, come all the way this way, bring it back, come all the way this way. And then also, I can do it this way. So I'm gonna scoop up this way, slowly let it down, scoop up this way, slowly let it down. So these are just a few exercises you can do. Again, you're gonna feel that a little bit when you're doing it, but you don't want it to be super painful, right? Because we're trying to heal things up. So remember that, golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, you have to release the muscle first, then you have to stretch it second, and third, you have to strengthen it. You can't just do one of those and hope that your golfer's elbow or tennis elbow is gonna get better, it just won't. Again, I'm Dr. Tyler Hamill. If you have any questions about tennis elbow or golfer's elbow, if you try these and it doesn't work, you might need um, a little bit more of an exam to figure out what's going on. Give us a call, 281-360-8386.